In this video, we're going to work on finding the equation of a line given two points. Let's look at the situation of Old Faithful, which is a geyser in Yellowstone Park. It erupts every 35 to 120 minutes. The National Park Service found that there is a relationship between how long an eruption lasts, which is called the duration, and how long it is before the next eruption occurs, which is called the interval. They found that the relationship is approximately linear. First thing we need before we can write an equation is to have some data points. We need to know the duration of the eruptions. We also need to know the interval between eruptions. We know that one eruption lasted a minute and a half, and it was another 51 and a half minutes before the next eruption occurred. That eruption actually lasted four and a half minutes, and it was another 89 minutes before the next eruption. To write an equation that we could use to predict the next eruption, we need to find the rate of change between the interval and duration. This will end up being the slope of our equation. So to do that, we need to take the interval and divide it by the duration. The first eruption lasted four and a half minutes, and its interval was 89 minutes. The other eruption lasted one and a half minutes, and its interval was 51 and a half minutes. Subtracting the interval, I get 37 and a half minutes. When I subtract the durations, I get three minutes. When I divide that, I get 12 and a half minutes. That means for every minute the geyser eruptions last, it'll be another 12 and a half minutes before the next eruption occurs. Remember, the equation of a line can be represented in the form of y is equal to the slope times x plus the y-intercept, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So I can substitute the slope we have of 12.5 in the equation. y is equal to 12.5 times x plus the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept without graphing the points, what I'm going to do is take one of our data pairs and substitute it in for the x and y. That way we can solve for b. I'm actually going to do both sets of points at the same time. So that way you can see it doesn't matter which points I choose. They would both be points that are found on the line that was formed. Afterwards, I'm going to multiply my slope times the x value. I will need to subtract that from both sides of the equation and I get the value 32.75 for my y-intercept. So now I can write my equation. y is equal to 12.5x plus 32.75. This equation allows us to predict how long it will be between eruptions based on how long an eruption lasted. So now, instead of letting visitors know that the next eruption will occur between 35 and 120 minutes, we can give a more accurate prediction.